hey guys welcome back this is me maddie teaching you all on how to edit awesome photos in snapseed using snapseed so let's start uh, guys let me i have a special photo for you all today here um, her name is helene she is a, she is gonna be a future model for sure definitely i hope so she becomes one i i generally do shoots for her and this pic is been taken by me a long time back uh, like few months before but today i've selected this image to show you all that how to um, bring out the light colors details in this image properly by using snapseed okay as you all can see that this image has been bit underexposed and been properly exposed at several parts and the colors have been not properly popped out okay so we are going to use the master app snapseed okay so let's start guys uh you all know that i like to use this tune image for editing any kind of pic and snapseed so we'll proceed further first of all uh this image this image brightness is very low as you all can see okay so we are going to increase the brightness Mm, we're gonna keep it at 75 guys you might think that it's been very much brightened but you're wrong it's okay at starting if you've been very much brightened because as you're gonna use all these effects in this image it's gonna get reduced so always keep the image bit brightened on the first okay at the very first okay so i'm gonna keep it 80 yeah and yeah contrast i'm gonna increase it a bit yeah so that i yeah it's okay and saturation yeah i'll definitely go with the saturation on this image because i want the colors to be seen properly yeah okay so look i'm going to increase guys as you all can see the colors have been coming out properly Look, if you decrease the saturation, it goes totally black and white. The, all the colors have been, um, like, totally been taken out from an image. You feel like that, okay? So, I'm going to increase the saturation a bit. I'll keep it around 9, 10. Yeah, it's okay. It's perfect. Now, ambience, yeah. I'm going to increase the ambience definitely for sure. And I'll brighten it a bit. Yeah, perfect. <coughs> now highlights. I just don't want to use the highlights because the image is already been highlighted, and the areas which if 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 there are some areas in an in the image which are not properly bright brightened, then you can use the highlight effect. Okay, but right now in this image we have no use of highlight. And yeah, we'll use the shadows and look guys uh, look at the parts where I'm touching uh, in this image uh, these parts are like been dark a bit darkened okay so I'm going to increase the shadow so that it's properly lightened okay look yeah, I'll keep it on 10 mm, let's see yeah, fine look guys let me show you that how the image was before and now it looks like this this was the before image and now it looks like this okay <coughs> so uh, I'll use the lens blur tool okay and i'll use it in a circle mode i'll just increase the transition now uh, guys let me tell you what is transition okay this transition is nothing but the gap between the inner circle and the outer circle okay if you increase the transition the gap of between them will increase okay yeah i'll bring it over here and yeah vintage strength if you want uh, the corners to be blackened then you can uh, dec uh, like increase the vignette effect or you can decrease it will keep the normal one 
I want to increase it a bit and I'll keep it around 30. Yeah, that's fine for me. And blur strength is okay. For 30 is fine. Transition effect is good. Yeah. Now look. Now it looks like this. <coughs> I feel like the face is being bit brightened. So I'm going to decrease the brightness a bit to 10. Yeah. Ambience plus 3, 4 would be fine. Yeah. And warm effect no i just it's okay it's okay it's fine it's fine yeah i'll go with the detail part now look let me zoom in and show you that what the detail does in this image detail okay structure can you see it's like it works like a, a noise reduction effect in lightroom okay if you decrease it totally it's gonna like uh, it, it will look like a painting like a kind of painting image okay but if you increase it all the details of the image will come out so i just want the details of the image to be uh, shown but a very little in a very little perspective okay 10 yeah 10 is fine look at her hair okay you can see the difference yeah okay now you sharpen it a bit okay perfect it was before and now it looks like this now I'll okay i'll use the brush tool yeah dodge once on her eyes and now i'll use the burn tool okay yeah look it's very eye catchy and now I'll use the white balance mode yeah I'll use it and increase the temperature a bit yeah, it looks good to me it looks perfect indeed then yeah and tint it depends upon you whether you want to use it or not I just don't want to use it because it makes the skin orangey or pinkish type. So I'll keep with I'll go with the zero of ten. Look. This is how the image looks like right now. And if you want, you can use the tonal contrast, but no use of using the tonal contrast in this image because mm, the part which you have like blurred properly, it will be seen that it's an effect or uh, used in the image, so I'm not going to use it. Vintage effect. If you want one, you can use one. Let me see that. Will I be using any one of this? Mm. Okay. No. 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 Ah. Uh, guys actually i don't feel like using one of this any one of this filter right now because my original image is like looking perfect for me perfect to me yeah, literally it's, it is looking perfect for me okay so we'll just <coughs> let's see what we can use more in this image tonal contrast no black and white no face no it's already perfect and You can play with the details once more. Increase it a bit. Fine. And I think that this is enough, guys. This is literally enough. And the image is looking perfect right now. This was the image before. As it was shot uh, during the evening. Uh, before sunset. And now it looks like this. Well, you can do one thing that uh, highlights, you can decrease the highlights a bit if you want to. And I'll keep it to 15 because I felt like the image is being like very much highlighted. 
so I'll decrease it and I'll keep it to 18 okay this was the before and now it looks like this and guys uh, let me tell you we can use the brush tool over here on our hands if you want to look because it was like totally whitish so now you can use on our hands and it will look perfect look okay and saturation yes you can use the saturation a bit if you want to uh, to give the to give the greenish effect to around her but not to be highlighted more yeah that's fine yeah this is fine people i hope you have liked this video please do subscribe my channel it's named as Madhu Prabhas and I'll upload many more, many more tutorials uh, on how to edit portraits, landscapes, street images and everything. If you have any doubt, any kind of question, just leave a comment below and I'll definitely answer all of your questions. And guys, mm, I'll be uploading one more, uh, one more video on uh, the same model but a different pick i hope all of you guys will all of the all of you guys will love it so we'll look forward to it thank you have a great day bye